Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at core laboratories in the energy equipment and services industry. 1.1 billion market cap on 1.3 billion enterprise value. They provide reservoir description, production, enhancement services, to oil, and gas. Founded in 1936. Company's revenue is actually down from 10 years ago and is pretty much, I mean, it's been gone up the last two years, but we take a long-term trend, it looks like it's going down. Gross margin, ain't operating margin, same story. 32% on the operating margin side to 11% over here with an 18% gross margin. So this is the opposite of what I see for some companies. I'd love to see, uh, I've definitely seen companies where their operating margin is higher than the gross margin was 10 years ago. Here I'm seeing their gross margin of the last year 14% lower than the operating margin of the business 10 years ago. So not, not looking too swell from that perspective. They do pay a dividend that pays out 0.16%. So really nothing there. 15 million cash on hand. No short term debt, but 163 million in long term debt. Let's see what that 160 million is in relation to cash flow. Of the last three years, it's, you know, I mean, if it's 10 years ago, it's less than one year, but they haven't been close to performing those type of cash flows. And so, I mean, I think it's good that they make money still, but unless we think they can get back to that 100 mil range, that debt is a little bit concerning because, I mean, again, with 160 million in debt, five years would be about 32 million for free cash flow required. And I mean, the rolling 12 looks like they're there almost, but it's still a lot of debt in relation to their recent free cash flow. So let's start making some assumptions here on the revenue growth side. I mean, ages, this will be a no growth, let's say. So even with three investments of everything, it doesn't look like they'll be able to grow. Let's do averages here saying that maybe it's not as low as what it's been in the recent history, but they don't quite get to as high of margins as what they have in the uh, you know four to ten years ago type of range. And with the share change of they're buying back a little bit of shares, dividend I'm keeping that the same. I mean it's not enough to really move the needle, so let's just knock it out. Say it's flat. I'll set their stock based compensation. Fine with that. And people are saying it needs to fall 86% before you get the return on the report here. I think with businesses that don't grow, there's absolutely a price to pay for them. Declining businesses, same thing. There's, there's always a price to pay for a company that produces positive free cash flow and yet is declining in revenue. However, to me, it is nowhere near the price that I think it gives you a well-established margin of safety to where you're comfortable being able to return back. So I will be not investing or looking in this any further at the moment. Hope you enjoy the video and have a great day. Thank you.